happy with the team fighting back to, to get a point out of this one, but I wanted to ask you about Emil Bamstrom first, just to see a player like that who has struggled much has been made about his scoring woes to see him finally cash through like that. Yeah, yeah. If you if you pan the bench after he scores his goals, you'll see uh, how much the guys are pulling for him. And uh, uh, yeah, that was. We haven't had many fun times this year. Uh, that was that was good. That, I, I'm happy for the kid. And what's the conversation like? How surprised pleasantly was he when you switched him in for for Bjorkstrand on the power play? Uh, with, I, with two goals in his pocket looking for a third. I didn't have a conversation. I said, Bemmer, go in there for Borky. That was the conversation. Yeah. Was he surprised or was he just smiling? No, I just, he went on the ice. It was, Bemmer, you go, Borky's out. That was the conversation. And you started overtime with him, too. You were feeling it tonight. Yeah, you have to go. They, you know what? Even though, you know, he's been off for quite a bit with a pretty serious injury, a tough one to come back with, even in Carolina, uh, he played well. Uh, made some plays, and that line's been a good line uh, with Gregor, him, and uh, him, uh, Gregor, Jack, and Bemmer. Uh, and they were a good line tonight. Bemmer's played well. Thanks. Next, we'll go to Dave Metzold. Go ahead, Metzi. Uh, John, obviously, Bemmer was the, the headliner there, but just if you could comment on how proud you were of the effort in that third period, you had to kill a penalty to start it, and then, then you get yourself back into a position where you can get a point. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you know, you gotta be happy about that for the guys, but this gets old. I mean, that's 12 of them for us, where we haven't been able to do it in overtime or or a shootout. It, it, it's just, it's frustrating. It, I'm happy we answered. I'm happy for the kid. Uh, Elvis gives us a chance. Uh, I think we play a lot of good minutes, but it, it's just, it's the same thing when losing an OT. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Brian Hedger. Go ahead, Hedge. Yeah, hey, John, just kind of getting back to, to Bemstrom really quick. It's kind of a no-brainer, but um, just how important is it to get him and some of these other guys young guys uh, that they're going to be banking on here in the future, obviously, going now, you know, it, it, ASAP. Yeah, we're trying to get him on the ice. He's been hurt a lot and uh, hasn't played much this year. Uh, trying to get, get him on the ice, trying to give Foods a chance and uh, trying to give the organization a, a, a look at these young kids as best we can in this situation. But, I mean, so much is about confidence, obviously, in this league. How important is it, you know, to have success finally for one of them? Well, I, I mean, just to build on. Yeah, we talked about it this morning. I, I, you hope it, uh, you hope it helps Bemmer. He's a, he's he's a goal scorer. Uh, you hope he gets a little streaky here. We don't have many games left. Uh, uh, at least he can feel good about these two games. He had, again, he's been out for quite a while. I think it's important that he finishes the year on a good note. And uh, you know, I, I, you love the goals. Uh, I love the reaction of the bench from his teammates. Uh, more importantly, I think he's playing a, a good game all around. I, I, I think he understands the checking part of it. Uh, he's made plays. Uh, it'll be nice for him to to play these next three games in that type of. Uh, uh, situation and success, and he can feel good about himself as he enters next year. Thanks. 